Okay, so I've had quite a few questions around how I get this uh, Deadly Kills tracker to show up and to fully work on Apex. So I thought I'd do a very quick video to show you how to get it working uh, as best I can remember because it's been a while since I set it up now. So let's just jump straight into it. First thing you want to do, boot up Apex, get that, get yourself in in the lobby, I guess, uh, through the home screen. Make sure you've got whatever your main legend you play is, who you want to track. Get them selected and make sure you've got this banner on them. Just kills. So that's the only one you need. Get the kills banner on and tracking. Then go back to the home screen. And then what you need to do is jump over to apextab.com. Here is where you get all your stats, basically. Type in your uh, origin name, your Xbox name, your PlayStation name, whatever it is. And then make sure you click the correct icon for what platform you're playing on. Uh, so for me, it's Windows. Click that. And then you should see your uh, personal account here. If you don't, there's a help section you can get to. Um, can't see the link straight away there. I will drop it in the description uh, if it doesn't show. But with that kills banner, it should show. There shouldn't be any problems. That will take you to where it shows all your stats for all you. Legends, um, all you need to do here is click the URL, copy that URL, and go to this stream widget section on the left hand side, go to there, and then paste in that URL you copied into this section here, the profile URL, paste it in there, and then down here in the widget URL section, that will be your personalized uh, URL you want to copy again, you want to copy this one now. And then you want to head over to Streamlabs. And that looks kind of crazy. You want to add a new browser source in here. You want to call it whatever you want to call it. This will pop up. And then you replace the URL with the one you've just copied. And it should appear. You can drag it where you want it to be. Move it where you want to be. And it should start tracking from there. It will only track your kills at the end of a game. So if you've got two kills in a game, it won't update that until that game is over. Then it'll update it with two. Um, and it doesn't matter if you change legends. As long as you've got the kills tracker on that legend, it should keep up to date and it should track them. Uh, so if you get five kills with Bangalore in your first game, then you swap over to Mirage and get another two kills. It will then say Dilly kills seven. And that little picture here will show your current legend that you're playing with. Uh, and if that doesn't fix your problems, then let me know in the comments below and I'll try and help out or drop me a DM on any of my socials. Uh, and that is everything. I hope that's been helpful and hopefully you can all get these kill trackers in your streams too, if that's something you'd like.